Look, I'm a big Manny Pacquiao fan. And I actually picked him to beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. last year when they fought. Should I said nearly the year before now? And they fought. I picked Manny Pacquiao to beat him in points. Now, obviously, that fight was really bad. And I keep it real whenever I'm discussing fighters, even my favourite ones. And I give credit where credit's due, and I give criticism when I feel that boxers aren't doing something to their full potential or they're not getting the most out of their careers. And for me, my Packer has really taken a landslide in terms of opposition. And when you think of, well, after he lost to Marquez, he de never fought the same opposition, really. He fought Rios, and I don't really like Rios that much in terms of his boxing. Uh, he fought Algeria. He fought Bradley. Fair enough, Bradley's a good opponent. I think Bradley's very good. He's obviously not very... Uh, he doesn't have much pulling power when it comes to money and st status and stuff like that. Which is why I don't think he gets many people fighting him. Right, so who else did Pacquiao fight? He fought Mayweather. Mayweather's obviously a legend. Like, um, after the Mayweather fight, when I watched that Mayweather fight, I was like, oh my god, Pacquiao is completely done. And... He obviously had the shoulder thing, that was what that was. Uh, took a year out nearly and then fought Bradley. I never watched the fight. Uh, um, I didn't see the need for him to fight Bradley for a third time. Uh, and then he fought Vargas. For whatever wee tid tidbits I've seen on YouTube or that, of the fights. Pacquiao is not the same guy he used to be. Pacquiao doesn't throw high volumes of punches anymore. Pacquiao doesn't maybe have the same sharpness and ferocity that he used to have. And I think his career is not being managed as well as it should have been. And when Mayweather used to say these things back in the days, I used to think that Mayweather was just a shit stir. Mayweather's actually right. Pacquiao only seems to be able to fight top ranked fighters and guys with no name. Whether he does that out of his own, uh, just to get people out of, like, get them good paydays, I can understand. But you're talking, we're talking legacy here. I mean, Muhammad Ali, a lot of people might not know this, he fought Ken Norton. Because Ken Norton wasn't making a lot of money. But Ken Norton actually did turn out to be very good. I mean, he basically beat Ali every time they fought. But in terms of Pacquiao, his career's nearly over. I think he needs some better fights than what he's been facing. And Jeff Horn, nobody knows who the hell Jeff Horn is. Uh, Need to step up position, Pacquiao does. And people, Bob Arum and Freddie Roach talked about the possibility of Terence Crawford. I think that's an excellent fight. I think Freddie Roach did say he was worried about Terence Crawford still because it's similar to that of Floyd Mayweather's. And understandably so. You wouldn't want another uh, rendition of Mayweather Pacquiao all over again. And ter as far as the Terence Crawford fight, I think it's a good idea. Terence Crawford's a light wall of weight. Pacquiao could probably make light wall of weight if he tried. Pacquiao doesn't come in at 147 at the way and he comes in at 145, 144. Pacquiao does do the, sort of the 144 catch weights and all that. I don't think I'll have too much trouble getting to 147. I think it'd make 147 easier than most of the weights out there.
if not all of them. It's a small waller, mate. I mean, it's only 5'6". It's probably 150 in fight night. So, I mean, there's always the possibility of that. Eddie Hearn has talked about Kell Brook fighting Packet. Look, I respect Kell Brook and what he's done, but Kell Brook needs to move up or else stay at 147 to fight Amir Khan. Um, there's obviously the mandatory thing. I don't really care about a fight between him and Spence. I don't want to see him and Khan. I don't, want, I don't really care about like, Khan fighting B or C level fighters either. I want him to fight Brook. Or Garcia or someone like that, but anyways, I'm digressing here. Yes, I want Pat Guy versus Khan. Now, had this fight taken place in 2011, I'd have put Pat Guy to maybe will the beat Khan in points or to stop him. I don't think Pat Guy has that killer instinct that he had. I don't think. Pack out would be able to knock Khan out cold or nothing like that. I do I do believe that even t today he could possibly score a knockdown against Khan, but I don't think he can knock Khan out now. Uh, I think if they fought now, Khan would I favour Khan. Khan's ex his hand speed says they did the top one for him. I'd pick Khan to beat Pacquiao. I definitely think I think Khan would beat Pacquiao quite comfortably. I know a lot of Pacquiao fans and all that, and Khan haters will disagree. But when you look at how washed up Pacquiao is, and considering the fact Khan does excellent against southpaws, and Khan was supposed to handle his own and sparring, and he even admitted that sometimes Pacquiao got the better of him. But if you consider Pacquiao's age and, uh, and how many times he's been beaten and his last few performances, I do feel the Khan's beaten uh, on points. And that's a fight I'd love to see this year. I think it should be made. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be made. Bob Arm could put all this dogma and everything away and give the fans what they want or give at least give me <laughs> what I want I mean I'm sure there's a lot of other fans there that really like the American Man I pack out fight I mean why not it's two guys with fast hand speed both like that offensive uh way of fighting both sparring partners and if you know anything about sparring partners when they fight each other it's always a good fight because they know each other's styles so the styles gel well together and it would probably be a quite a high volume fight it would be I don't know I'm trying to think like a ha Hagler Hearns it might not be as good as Hagler Hearns but it would be that, that would uh, get the just of it. It'd maybe be like Hagler Hearns, but more in turn, like more boxing wise, so I'm sure you know fights like that anyway. But I've been talking for nearly nine minutes so I'm gonna wrap it up now. So look feel free to share your opinions in the comments as always. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to it. I'd appreciate that very much. Uh, let me know your opinions in the comments as I said before. Thanks for watching the videos and I'll see you in the next one.